Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today, we're actually gonna be working on the 240 now. I am gonna swap in the alternator. So I am working with what I have. Unfortunately, it doesn't have those stands that you connect to the hood to prop it up. So I'm using what I have to keep it propped up so it doesn't fall on me. But essentially, we're gonna take out this intake and I just realized this intake is held in with uh, zip ties. I don't know if you see that. I don't know why, but we're gonna need to figure that out too if there's supposed to be a bracket up here. Uh, we'll, we'll figure it out as we go. So right now, essentially, I just need to take out this intake so I have space to throw the alternator down here. And hopefully, I have everything I need. He did say the bolts is in the car, but I do see the bracket that's right here, the little alternator bracket. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully, you can see that if it focuses on it. Probably not, you probably can't see it. Anyways, there's a little bracket that goes to the alternator that holds it in place right there from the tension here. So, I'm gonna do that. You ready to work on this? Yeah. You, you wanna do it? You wanna unscrew that part? Here. Put that rock down, or put the slime down. Grab this, and you're gonna go ahead and touch it. You're gonna go right here. So you're gonna go ahead and go right here, and twist it, okay? So twist it. Go. Go ahead and twist it. Reposition the little buddy. You're gonna, remember, you're gonna put it in right. right here, twist it. Twist it. There you go, more. There you go, more. Keep going. All right, now I got my little man's helping me. Look at that. Shut up, post it on the car. You twist it off? Yep. Is it done? Yeah. Can we pull it? All right, now do this one. Do this one right there. And it right over. Twist it, this way. Twist it, twisting it. Do more. 10 minutes. 10 minutes, this is gonna take you 10 minutes to do that. Liam, do you like this car? Yeah, me You like it? Yeah. You like this car? Or you like that one? Like this. Oh, you like the 240? <laughs> yeah. You like the 240? Yeah. I'm gonna be whipping this. You heard that. You heard it here first. My son approves the 240 over a Civic. He said real wheel drive life. We're gonna slide this thing? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna slide it? Yeah. Okay. All right, so the alternator is now in. Um, I just need to secure this little bolt right there. I don't know if my camera will focus and pick it up. There's a bolt right here that I need to fully tighten down. And then we're gonna go ahead and start the car and see if it at least starts. And if it does start, I'm gonna shut it off right away. Just in case that the oil pan gasket is pretty bad where it's gonna leak. And I don't want anything leaking on the floor, especially since this is on the, not even the driveway, it's on the main street. So we're gonna go ahead and um, tighten all the bolts down. I already have the belt in and secured on the alternator. Do you want to help me? Yeah. All right, you're going to stand right here. He's going to go ahead and tie down the alternator for me. So go ahead and grab this. Watch, you're going to go like this, okay? You're going to turn it and go that way. So go ahead and do it. And the other way. There you go. Just like that. Keep going. A little man. Got to start on your own, you know? 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Is it going to take you 10 minutes too? Yeah. Is it going to take you that long? Mm -hmm. You got to go faster, buddy. There you go. That's how you do it. Oh, it's okay. It's okay to get hurt. You get hurt all the time working on cars. Yeah, me too. Yeah, you just got hurt. So while my little man is doing that work, I'm actually going to go ahead and start attaching the battery soon, but I'm going to take out that bumper inside of the car and get the hub ready, all the tools and all that stuff. You got this? You think you can handle it? Yeah. Are you going to need my help? Yeah. You're going to need my help? Yeah. You need help? Okay, you got it then. All right, hop on. All right, I'll let you do your work. You're gonna leave me hanging? Yeah. Look, look at me. Yeah. There you go. All right, I'll let you work, okay? Bye. Bye. So the alternator is done. Everything's connected, the negative, the positive, the sensor. Everything's plugged in. Now all I gotta do is put the piping back together and plug the battery and start the car. And if it runs, we're heading straight to AutoZone or O'Reilly's, fix the steering, oil pan gasket, I'm gonna take it for a spin. The battery connected, alternator in, all the piping for the intake is in. We're gonna go ahead and attempt to start the car. If it doesn't work, then someone lied to me somewhere. So let me go ahead and set the camera down right here. Oh. It runs. The 
are in neutral. So now that we confirmed it starts and everything, we're gonna go ahead and bring this in the garage and we can start working on it fairly soon. So I'm actually really excited. Um, the motor was shaking a little bit. I don't know if I need to uh, get new motor mounts or anything to fix that, but all I know is the 240 runs mint. So I just got back from AutoZone. I bought the necessary parts we needed. Right now I'm about to put it on jacks right now. I did that way. I don't know what I was thinking, but I do have my jacks with me, so I'm gonna replace that with the jack stands. I got the oil seal or the gasket sealer right there while the gasket's inside the car. So we're gonna go ahead and drain the oil that it has right now and do that oil pan gasket and then top off the oil. Then we're gonna go for a spin around the neighborhood and I'll probably see if this thing can slide. I don't think that's a good idea because I know one of these tires are bald in the rear on the driver's side, definitely because it's not on this side, but we're gonna send it. I kid you not. This is the amount of oil that came out of this car. Dude, that's terrible. I thought it was gonna be like a full, you know, I don't know, a full, at least two gal two to three gallons. This isn't even a gallon. And it's already drained. I didn't take out the oil filter yet. Um, I have plans for that later. But that's pretty much that. I just gotta throw the, what's that thing called? The drain plug back in. And then start taking out the uh, subframe. I kid you not, two hours later, the oil pan is finally out. I was struggling with this thing, man. So what I had to do, well, what I was originally doing, take out the motor mounts, which I did. And then I don't have any jacks, so don't mind the way it's sitting right now. And then I used a spare jack, the little spare tire jacks to hold it up. And I used my jack to jack up the transmission and lift up the thing or the motor. And then after that, I got the oil pan out. I was kind of struggling a little bit because I was like pulling it and I was like, why isn't it wanting to come out? And then this little thing right here, I don't know exactly what it's called and I don't think you can see it, but there's this little thing that connects to the engine. Um, it's pretty much what sucks the oil up. I don't know what that part is called, but there's two 12 millimeter bolts that I had to take out. And then from there, the whole thing slid easy. So now I just got to clean up this little oil pan Get ready for the new gasket to go on, which by the way, this thing is a complete mess. Let me show you this thing. This is the oil pan and this is a disaster. So we're gonna inspect the oil pan, make sure there's no like large metal shavings or anything like that. And then clean this up with a blade and make sure that every corner and all edges and the straights are completely clear of debris. That way we can throw in our gasket sealer and the gasket on top and slap it back on throw some oil in here and drive it around and see how it does but yeah again if you guys are taking out your oil pan don't forget to take this little thing out right here and this is what sucks up your motor oil and at the same time you want to inspect this and make sure nothing's clogged while it's already out so you don't have to do it again so make sure you just look at it see if there's any large metal shavings in here and if it's clogged or anything all right so unfortunately I got some bad news. Yesterday, I was able to finish the job. I did the oil pan gasket and everything. I straightened the oil pan as much as I can because there was a little bend in the rear. Uh, but yesterday when I started the car, took it out for the spin, started smelling burnt oil smell. And I mean, obviously that could be reasons of there's just being a shit ton of oil around the engine and the engine block. But regardless, even if that was the case, um, it was leaking oil still. Right now, I was just trying to clean up the driveway as best as I can. And trying to clean up the street but that didn't work out so the plan now is to just sell the motor because I already have a buyer that wants to buy the motor so I'm gonna go ahead and take out all the wiring harness take it out completely disconnect everything from the engine and get ready to sell that I am gonna be selling the KA along with the trans um, so that way it's already out of the way and I don't want to spend any money on the motor to get it to run because I already know it runs it just, I need to track down the leaking. Obviously the oil pan is one of the reasons why, but there's gonna be other reasons why too, just by looking at the engine and where the oil was dripping from. Uh, but again, I don't wanna spend money on the motor when I can just save that money and put it on the engine swap I wanna do because there's gonna be a lot of parts that we're gonna need to buy. Intercooler piping kit, uh, the drive shaft, the new transmission we're gonna be running, the engine, the wiring harness for the new engine, and a ton of other parts, especially the wheels and body parts, let alone just 
just look at this. I mean, if you watched my first video, you already know that there's a lot of problems with the body. So there's that, and it was missing the passenger mirror. They had this in the car, and I just taped it on the mirror when I went to drive it yesterday. But even the interior is going to be a lot of work. Uh, so I want to completely start just fixing the car internally and externally. Not the motor, because that's going to have to wait until we get my own place. But that's pretty much it. I did get the car to run. Um, I did do a little burnout and I did a little clutch kick. And then that's when I realized um, the, the smell was getting worse. And I pulled up in here and there's oil, which I'm pretty sure there's probably oil on the floor right now, just like looking underneath the car. I don't know what you'll be able to see. Probably not. Well, actually right there, you can see a little, a little reflection off the floor right over there. So there, <laughs> my god and then like look right there there's like wiring i'm sorry the angle of the camera but there's just wires on the floor so jesus christ this car is gonna be a lot of work but nonetheless i still am looking forward to it again i went in buying this car knowing it was going to be a project and that's exactly what it's giving us but on the next video i'm going to be mainly focusing on just the interior and exterior I'm probably going to take out the hood the fenders the lights and the light bracket and then i'm going to take out the seats of the car and just vacuum it all up if I have a vacuum. I don't even think I have a vacuum here. And then pretty much just clean everything up. Obviously, once we get the motor out, we'll be able to clean the, the engine bay and paint that as well when the rest of the body work is done. Uh, I'm still trying to find parts for this thing. I don't even know where I can go to get these parts. I did try finding them on Nissan's website, but it looks like it's discontinued because I couldn't find the part. And the one website I did find the part, it said discontinued, so who knows? I'd rather be next to you Strangers in the lights Dancing in the night I'd rather be next to you